Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is me today. I'm back with a new video. So today we're going to be doing a middle school advice video. So let's get into the video. Okay, let's start off. What the hell was that? Sorry, I just heard a random noise. If you hear the people cutting the grass, I'm so sorry. I'm going to try to for it not to be heard in the video. Fingers crossed. Whatever. Let's start off. I have my little paper here so I don't forget any of the categories. Let's start off. Well, I just went through the intro, so yeah. Um, okay, first category, popularity slash friends. This Number one, you don't need to be popular. I feel like popular is being stupid, mean, not worth it, all of the above. Um, honestly, you don't have, you don't have to be popular. Like, it's, in my way of seeing this, I think popularity is so dumb, so stupid. Like, what the frick? It's not, and people... I guess people, if you're popular, I guess people admire you more, I guess, or you have more friends, but most of the people, when you're popular, see you as the mean girl in the movie, so, hmm, I don't think it's pretty worth it, um, I've never experienced it, because I've never been, like, popular, you know, never, and I, I've been always, like, in the middle, like, not, like, N not like not known but not like popular in the middle is a pretty good spot it's just like normal <laughs> yay you have your friends but it's not like you're lonely but it's not like you have a ton of friends and they're fighting over you no so i just think that's the best spot oh my bra um but popularity not necessary not worth it people see you as like the mean especially me like i will if you're popular and i know you and you are rude to people that are not popular. Mm, no girl. They're probably you're if you are like wanting to be popular and you cause because you care a lot about what people think, if you don't have much friends, if you're popular, there's gonna be like a lot more people talking about you in a bad way. Do you want that? No. So it's better to stay in the middle. Just let's just say that. Friends, um, be careful with whoever you tell stuff to, cause if they're a very cheese most hot gossip girl, like kind of vibe, yeah. If you can go around telling people, like people that are you just met your secrets and stuff or stuff you've done in the past that is very personal, yeah, no, no don't do that. That is bad. That is really bad. First, try to get to know the person. Make sure they're not a safe friend. Make sure they're good to you. They're not being rude. Make sure you would have to be friends with them the whole school year. And then get trust. And be like, oh, here's my life. This is what I've done. Yeah, but not immediately. Not the first day. You're like, hi, my name is Tatiana. I'm an 8th grader. Um, I've done this in life. Yeah, no. I don't think that's the best option. You have to make sure they're a trustable person, a, re a good, reliable person, and not like one of those chismosas that just want to be your friend for gossip and stuff. Category number two. This is a big one. It's three things in one. Grades, teachers, assignments, homework. Okay. Grades. I'm not telling you you have to get straight A's. Now, because I never got in straight A's, and I'm into the, and that's being really honest with you, brutally honest. I think I've only gotten A B on a roll in middle school three times, and that's pretty low. Um, but I don't recommend acting like the dumb one so people like you or feel bad for you. No, that's not worth it. That is being dumb. That is gonna get you nowhere in life. Probably nowhere. So, if you're doing that right now, I am... S please switch up your mindset and actually try for school. 
if you're feeling just like a little lazy one day, well, that's fine. Because I am like that like almost all the time in school. That's okay, but like all the time, bro, that's going to get you nowhere. And especially don't do that 8th grade high school, throughout high school. No, that's not going to be good for you. So, start now. Act a little bit smarter. It's better to be confident than to like be like, oh my god, I'm so done. I'm probably gonna get an F. Like I was. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, teachers. Um, honestly, how to deal with strict teachers? Just don't get in trouble. Be the good kid. Don't be like dumb. The class of cloud. I mean, like the class clown is pretty funny in my opinion. Like I've had a, I had a couple this year, this school year for eighth grade, and it, they were so fun. But they do it so much to get to the point that no one laughs and no one likes it, and it's actually annoying when you're actually trying to pay attention. So don't. I mean, if you want to be the class clown, you can. If you want to get the attention, I guess. But I don't. But there's, you have to be it if you know you're good at it. Because there's like some kids that just try to be it and they're not funny. And it's actually kind of embarrassing. So, you do you. It's your choice. Do I recommend it? I don't know. Because, no. So, teachers just, strict teachers, don't be too chill with them. Because mm, you can get your punishments and and not good things for the future like referrals like punishments like minor infractions stuff like that lunch tensions so just be careful with that um yeah but and then chill teachers just i don't know just but don't also get like too chill with them because like they can also get strict just listen to your teachers like, I know this is hard sometimes, but, like, when you're so out of school. But, like, there's a point that somewhere in life you're going to need what they're saying and in their tests. So, you want to do good. Diamonds, just try to get them on time. Not too late. Um, try to actually do good on them. And then for homework, like, just, like, if you don't understand something and you have a super like friend like a super smart friend that you know that or a friend that just knows a little bit more of and then ask them to facetime you to help you with the assignment i feel like that was such a big thing in eighth grade i would like facetime my friends all the time be like what the heck is this i don't understand do you understand it and they're like yeah i can help you and it was so good like helping each other as friends are is like so good the best final two categories i have two, two more categories three and four three is fights drama and gossip for fights if you're like getting into a fight i feel like that is the most stupid thing ever to do at school like you're not getting anything from it to start freaking violently fighting someone that is so stupid you're not winning no that is so stupid if you're, you're going to do that because you got into an argument with someone and it's like, it's not that deep. It's not that deep to just get into a fight because of the most stupidest stuff ever. Do not do it. It's not worth it. You're not winning. You're not doing anything. All you're gaining is punishment and stuff that are not going to help you in your future. That is so stupid in my opinion. Do not do it. Not worth it. Don't do it. It's so dumb. Like, people are going to laugh at you probably all the time at school because of that dumb fight and because you pulled her hair or punched her. That is so stupid. I literally, there was a fight in my school. I don't know what, what year I was in, in high, in, not in high school, girl, in middle school, but they literally, two girls pulling each other's hair, like, slapping each other because they're fighting because of a boy oh my goodness no please no that is like the dumbest reason to fight too Mama, don't get into it it is literally so bad it's so annoying it literally ruins your whole year no it's so stupid gossip 
honestly, everyone does it. Like, I, even, everyone, everyone does it. Um, just, if you want to gossip and talk about people because they fell down the street or something in downtown and you thought it was so funny and it was so stupid, well, okay, that type of gossip is okay. But, like, if you're like, oh, my God, that girl is so fat. She looks so ugly today. Like, what happened to her hair? She, like, has... Yeah, that's a little bit... Mm -hmm. And I know everyone does it, including myself. I'm not going to deny it because that's just being dumb. But, like, just try to put, your, put yourself into their shoes of how they might feel when you... If you say that to their face. Yeah. Okay. Um, category number four is random stuff just in one. Hygiene, crushes, and being organized at school. Hygiene. Please, for the love of me, wear deodorant. Please. I don't want you passing me passing next to me and you smelling like absolute doo-doo no please please wear the order in the morning after you're before gym after you're done with gym like try to do as much as you can please please for the love of me and if you're allergic to like perfume and stuff you don't have to wear a perfume but like at least wear some like type of deodorant please and if you wear perfume don't wear a ton of it because some people are allergic to like the smell. Just wear a little bit. You don't have to drown yourself into that perfume or body spray. Just put a little, a little bit so you smell a little bit better and that's it. Don't drown the whole locker room and bathroom in that perfume mixed with other perfumes which literally smells horrible. Please, for the love of me. Okay, crunches. <laughs> I firstly had a crush this this school year. The last two months, three months of school. Mm-hmm. That one kind of wrong. Um. Yeah. Um. You can like someone if you want. Like it doesn't matter. Is it worth it telling them? No. Cause you know boys like to do their first step. So just be super delulu like. Yeah, you could be Delulu and pretendly like you back, and that's it. And if you are like in the whole, ch -ch -ch, oh yeah, he likes me back, literally, let's start dating, then you go, girl. I'm going to be here applauding because that personally didn't happen to me. <laughs> so exciting. Um, Yeah, my friend told him that, that I liked him, and then nothing went from there. <laughs> Yeah, that's just long story short, nothing happened. And I just wanted to like keep us a friend. Yeah, no. The guy was zero interested. So that's that. Doesn't matter anymore. Um, being organized, super important. I was, the three years of middle school, I was super disorganized within my backpack. I would lose like papers and assignments all the time and wouldn't get them turned in. Um, what else? I would just my dirt, my 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 not my bathroom, my backpack was just so dirty or unorganized. It looks so bad. So I recommend you actually trying to keep your backpack clean, have folders so you don't lose your stuff, cause then it's a freaking nightmare to do the assignment again. It's a nightmare. And then you just not end up doing it. And it's just so annoying. And that is it for today's video. Mwah! I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And if you like these types of videos. Like the video. And I hope you enjoy all of these videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Peace.